when it came to applying to universities, I said to Dad, thing is, Dad, I care, but I really don't care. And he was all like, well, what does that mean? And I was like, thing is, I just haven't really thought about it. I just thought it would be quite pointless. We ended up taking it quite seriously. Dad got really into it. He had been, mum hadn't, um, nor had his sister. So he was all like, you know, first woman of the family go to uni, that'll be quite something. So we made lists and more lists and we went to open days and we did ratings. It was actually quite fun. And then dad decides that we'll go to London School of Economics. We'll go to Manchester, we'll go to Bristol we'll go to Essex as a backup and then we'll go to Southampton and I was all um, we spent ages filling in forms and I got a few interviews as well dad came with me for them and then the rejections came in <laughs> one by one one after the other tipping through the box Essex took me the rest didn't. <laughs> the night I got my last rejection from Bristol, I scratched my dad's car. It was about three, it must have been three weeks ago. Anyway, I went out at midnight and I took a hair grip and I scratched cunt in big letters on his car. <laughs> he was hilarious the next morning. Who did this? Who did this? And Abe, who was coming to walk me to school, was there thinking about who could have written cunt on my dad's car. Who did this, sir? He sometimes calls my dad, sir. Anyway. <laughs> I've never met Abe's parents, though. I don't know why.